President Biden soon expected to sign an executive order that would more closely scrutinize American investments in Chinese high tech. That order could come as soon as this week and is expected to target U.S. private equity and venture capital. Join us right now to talk more about this is Congresswoman uh, Mike Cher Cheryl of New Jersey. She's a member of the House Select Committee on Strategic Competition between the U.S. and China. And there's been a lot of debate about this one. There certainly has been. I think um, there's also been a lot of work with private industry to make sure that this will be very targeted um, and make sure that, that what we're doing is understanding the reporting from our companies, where these investments are going, and then in very key targeted areas, uh, stopping the investment in some of this high-end technology. We've seen, and this is a, you know based on some of the investigations that the, uh, the special committee has done, we've seen, for example, some U.S. investment going into Xinjiang, where a genocide is taking place against the Uyghur people. We've seen some investment, U.S. investment going into the suppliers of the People's Liberation Army into some stealth technology. So there are those key national security areas, uh, key areas that we want to make sure we're protecting U.S. investment and protecting U.S. industry. Congressman, what is your sense, and I'll give you, I'll give you, a, I don't know where you put this one, TikTok. TikTok is owned by, as you know, uh, a whole bunch of, of private equity firms uh, in the United States. What would you do about something like that? Well, you know, I think what we see with TikTok and in so many areas uh, that we've just seen unfair competition. So um, the special committee has heard testimony from U.S. tech firms about how, for example, all of our market is open um, to groups like TikTok, and yet Chinese markets are not open. And what that creates is this imbalance where TikTok and their parent company can earn billions of dollars in the Chinese market, which they then can dump into taking over the U.S. market. And so we hear from our Chinese tech, or from our U.S. technology companies, look, we can compete with anyone fairly. We're the best in the world. The problem is this unfair competition. Um, and so we want to see more parity. We want to see more fairness in the market. And do you believe that by implementing this, this is going to, I mean, how much of this is an effort to change the policy in China versus really change the policy in the U.S.? I don't think we're going to see a policy change in China. Um, we see a Marxist economy. Um, we've seen very clearly how China um, has not become more democratic. They've not embraced the, the rules of the world economy that the United States has been instrumental in setting up. In fact, they are now a threat to the rules-based economic order. They have um, been creating this unfair playing field, which is why we're reshoring so much of the American manufacturing economy. I don't think they're going to change their policies. They've, they've been pretty clear in the China 2025 policy that they intend to compete in certain areas, and they intend to do so with investment in Chinese research and development, but they also would like to do so by having U.S. companies come to China and then the Chinese taking their technology, taking U.S. technology and, and utilizing it to overwhelm the U.S. companies. And um, that's what they've been doing. They've right. basically stated that's what they intend to keep doing. And now we are saying we're going to take measures to compete. We're going to take measures to ensure that we can create a more level playing field for our companies. What kind of pushback have you gotten from the private equity and VC uh, world, in part because disclosure has also been a, an issue that they have uh, typically fought? You know, it's been very interesting because I always anticipate a lot of pushback when there are these changes because we have uh, companies that want to make sure um, that they're doing as, you know, as well as can be expected in their investments and, and making money um, for their, their firms. But what's been interesting to me is to see that even before much of this has, you know, we haven't seen um, what the administration, what the administration is going to put out or when they're going to put this out. But we've already seen a withdrawal of much of the uh, American investment. And I think that's because after the zero COVID policy, um, after the, you know, wolf warriors, after taking over large parts of um, different industries, we've seen China become a risky investment. It, it is to many of our, our venture capitalists, 
China no longer looks like such a great investment. We've seen companies moving out of China because they can't ensure their supply chains aren't using forced labor. Um, we've seen companies moving out because um, they feel that uh, they can't ensure that their technology won't be stolen. Um, so I, a lot of this has been something that I think our investors are already pulling out of China and making different decisions without um, some of what the Biden administration may may come forward with. 